Freedom File. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 7. And Saturdays from 9 to 11. Central. On American Freedom Radio. 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 <laughs> Welcome Hola. back. Uh, let's see. Going into the second hour now, uh, we are talking about all the uh, wonderful chemicals women put on their bodies on a daily basis. And we've gone uh, all the way from the head down to the, um, well, <laughs> yeah. down to the more fun parts. Uh, shampoo, hairspray, eyeshadow, blusher, lipstick, foundation, nail varnish, deodorant, perfume, body lotion. And if you want to see this, uh, now I, ca- I managed to keep the, uh, it came from like a UK article a while mm-hmm. back. And I kept the photo of it, and uh, we posted it up on the uh, Freedom Files Along with Facebook the article, page. Actually. Yeah, yeah, the we got we got it all the up there. Articles up there. The original articles up there, and it's all posted up at the uh, Facebook page. You can uh, join the Facebook page if you're not a member already through the Freedom Files website, freedomfiles.us. Just click on freedomfiles.us, and you'll see a Facebook logo. Click on the Facebook logo; it takes you right there, and you can join us and just click like. Then that'll tell us, hey, someone likes us. <laughs> they like me. They really like me. And you can uh, join in on the uh, discussion as well. Have a better visual, if you will. And uh, the final one, which we were getting into right as we were going up to the break, was fake tans, okay? Aww. Now, here's something I find ridiculous, okay? We were talking about this before the break. We had a, this big, giant star in the sky called the sun, which gives you vitamin D. What you for need? For free. You need it, too. You need it. Yeah. And you can get a tan, a nice, healthy tan. By sitting out in the sun. Now, yeah. maybe 30 minutes a day. So many people have gotten scared off by you know, the, the skin cancer. Yeah, all the, all the know, glo- global war monger in the U.S. They're afraid to. They actually avoid. Well, they, they, they think they've it's a healthy done alternative. That, though. They've yeah. intentionally done this. Well, they what's sad is they go to the tanning booth. They think exactly. that's safer. Yeah, that's, that's, they and consider that a, a safe times alternative. Deadlier. And that's what we're getting into. 22 chemicals from a fake tan. Yeah. yeah. Even the kind that you spray on. How about that? Yeah. They have these sprays that you spray. I mean, my God. Why don't you just take some paint and paint your body? It'd yeah. be, just, be just as good. And what I find ridiculous, have you seen a lot of these women that they get look these horrible? Oh, they look like George Hamilton. I mean, yeah. orange as could be. Yeah, <laughs> and, really uh, that, uh, well, what's her name? Snooky off of. I, I mean, don't know was, any of them. She was ones. ugly enough, anyways, on Jersey Shore, but she <laughs> looks even worse. And the Kardashians, I know they all tan. Oh, yeah. Women, women and, can look very and, skanky and, if they have the people wrong think, tan. They're like, oh, they're so hot. The Kardashians or whatever their last name is. That's uh, not hot to me. I'm well, they really don't need wonder. tans. They're, they're, they're actually dark skinned. That's their nationality. No, but, no, no <laughs> the I Kardashians. Think they, I think they actually have, I think they actually tan. Ah, uh, nice. They hang out at the beach, of course, with their bikinis. <laughs> but, but uh, the, you know, the, I just don't see the people. Who, who is setting these standards to think that you have to have all this? The powers of that's the thing. Yeah. The people who are selling the product. Yep. It's. I mean, come on. It it it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Yeah. Well, the reality is, this is a what we call a soft kill weapon. They they're intentionally doing this because they want to physically and and emotionally and psychologically and you know break down and tear down people. <laughs> and this is a great way to do it to women of all this yep. stuff. Doctors make money. The psychiatrists make money. The psychologists mm. make money. The, yeah. The all of this, all of the powers that be out there make and that, money, and that's why they got they got women to smoke cigarettes because they they did it as kind of they pushed it as a women's liberation. Thing. Oh yeah, there's Virginia a Virginia Slims. Yeah, exactly. Look yeah. at me now, baby. Look at me now. And, yeah, look at them now. Fifty years later, they're right. hacking up a lung. You know, yep. I tell you. And boy, when they were running those commercials back then, y'all probably weren't even around, but I was. But you know, they made it sound like you know this Virginia Slims. Now this for women. You know this isn't this isn't like those Marlboro Reds that the that the yeah. Cowboys smoke. And these are safe and yeah. they're for women. You know? Wow, their nicotine and tar content yeah. wasn't any yeah. different. They you know? needed to to target women. Same cigarette yeah. with a different label. They wanted women to buy. They wouldn't get enough business. Yep. Exactly. It's all about making money. And they they had a lot of that though back then. You know, a lot of these old commercials. I've seen several of them. They talk about how. Uh, why was it? There was some some chemical that ended up getting banned. That they're like, this stuff is good for you. Oh, they they used to, like going back to cigarettes. They had like doctor recommended. Like, yeah, it's doctor recommended. Well, the the oh, good yeah. one was the ultra light. Yeah. Well, if you smoke those ultra lights, you're not going to catch cancer. Guess what? You know what the ultra light was? It didn't have anything to do with anything that prevented cancer. That was just another name for it. You had yeah. lights, ultra lights, yeah, or low like, tar. I think yeah. really all they really have low a difference. Low tar, in. but hell, yeah. tar is tar. Tar is yeah. tar. You know, smoke enough of them, you, low tar becomes high tar. Yeah, that's another thing. They tend to smoke more when you're, yeah. you're smoking ultra lights. Right. Yeah. They think they need more. Because they're not more. as harsh. I can smoke more. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like with dieting. You know, right. dieting, 
I think if I, you know, instead of drinking regular soda, I'm drinking diet soda. So I can I'm have so five I, cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's, no it's all bad for you. So. The thing about it is there's safe alternatives. And I would, I would put, I would just tell these women, you look, make demands and get the, make them, make them make it from safe products because they can. They're out there. It, there's just no, make it's, it's just like extra. herbal medicine. <laughs> You see all these prescription drugs and stuff, and there there are herb remedies that will pretty much take care of any anomaly that you have out there. If, but the big thing is is take care of your health, eat properly, and then you don't have to worry about taking all these pills and things. That's mm -hmm. the, you. You ever heard that old saying? You are what you eat. Yeah. There's nothing truer than that. And I'll you're all. You. And apparently now you're also what you put on your body. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If you eat right, though, you don't need the the foundation to cover the blemishes. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to get the blemishes. Exactly. It goes back to the old saying. You know, you stick your hand in the fire, it's going to burn you. <laughs> First time, the second time, the third time, yeah. the fourth time, and on and on yeah. and on. And these chemicals are the same way. They taint you every time you put them on. And, and, and what bothers me is these women that, that do the tanning and do the uh, the fake the fake implants and all this other stuff, the it. Botox. They're doing it now to look pretty. Now, yeah. Imagine what a lot of these women right now are going to look like if they make it to forty, fifty years oh, down the road. Scary future. Well. Yeah. They're going to make they're going to make old women now look beautiful. Yes, that's exactly and, right. And you know, I'm not you know most women that are naturally aged. You know, they you know, I'm not really like Ugh, you know, but these women are going to make them look attractive because these women were at least not as putting as much crap on their bodies, and they weren't putting fake boobs on them and Botox and all mm -hmm. this junk right. and fake lip liners and all the other stuff yeah. that they do. You know, body. you can take a woman that, that doesn't even have to be by what some men's standards are as a pretty woman, but if you take her and dress her right, and she's attractive, yeah. and you don't have to have all this other stuff, yeah. women. I mean, it, I know y'all do it for the men. Or yeah, that's what women. gets me. They blame the men. They yeah. say, you know, We're I'm doing, doing it for, it for you guys. No, we don't yeah. care. We don't a have piece this. of ass is yeah. a piece of ass in our lives. Honest to God, Let's I face it, you know? <laughs> if I have to get in a car where I'm breathing these kind of fumes, or I might die before I get to that, what Jeff just yeah. said. Men I mean, don't care, you know? Point? Men don't care that exactly. much. Women don't have to try nearly as hard as they think they do to get men. And That's the problem. Me, yeah. When we're making love in the dark, in the bedroom, you know, okay, and I well. don't smell perfume and all, believe me, it's just as fun to me if exactly. I smell the perfume or not. You know? Well, I think we're getting a little off subject here, but <laughs> the point is... The point women, is it's not necessary. Stuck, women yeah. need to educate yourselves. You don't need all this stuff. All this crap that Hollywood tells you... Mm -hmm. Is beautiful is a lie, okay? It's a complete lie. Let's do the walks for banning the stuff you put on before you go to the walk. Exactly. <laughs> you need to become responsible. You need to educate yourself. You need to start going for more natural look. I'm not saying hippie look, you know, where yeah. you're growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to walk around up, smelling the place and up. Yeah, but and I'm certainly not trying to bash the Susan Coleman Foundation. Oh, no, no, that's a great foundation. They're a great foundation, but, but look a little closer, women. Just, you know, I know you're... Y'all have the right idea. You want to find a cure and all, but really, the cure is right there in front of you. Quit using the things that cause that. You want to worry about yeah. a cure. Yeah. It's individual responsibility. You know exactly. that's what it comes down to. Ah, it's just insane. And it comes down into the the use of herbs and stuff. And James, I, I'd rather date somebody, and we're about to get into herbs. I'd rather date someone that's naturally beautiful that that does all this stuff naturally. You know exactly. Instead of somebody with fake boobs, I don't care for fake boobs. Mm. I don't. I, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. That's not attractive to me. It's, it's, it's actually a turn off. Yeah. yeah. And, and women don't even think about it down the road. I mean, that silicon eventually is going to start. It's going to start leaking. They claim it's safe, but it's not. No, it's not. And no. they, I, know, I know they have to replace them every couple, couple of years. Well, and look look at the – look like Pamela Anderson. My God. Yeah. She's, she had two or three boob jobs, and then what she did, she had them taken out. Yeah. She realized, wait a minute, I'm sexier with my normal boobs, you know? So, well, she's but no. by then, she's already ruined them. Right. Yeah, but by so, doing so, I, I have a health before. risk because she put herself in. She was a, gorgeous back in the, yeah. in the tool time days before she got the implants. Exactly. When, when she first showed up in Playboy. That's exactly but then right. she goes and you know, buys these fake boobs yeah. for whatever reason. It almost looks freakish. It almost it looks does. like it's, these people need to be in a sideshow, some of the extremes they go to. And these Botox lips. My gosh, that's the newest, the blow up. Of oh, the, the blow up. What do they call that? Uh, at, it's not estrogen, but a it's, collagen, it's, collagen yeah, implant yeah. in the lips. Yeah, yeah and Botox. To, to puff them up. Ridiculous. Botox, yeah. the injections. That's what they do that for. Yeah, they blow then, them up. Then you know, nose jobs fat. and lipo. If you need to lose a little weight, fine. Get on treadmill. Yeah. 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 And and also to look at these people who have cosmetic surgery done and you look at all their bandages when they come out and their face looks like they've been beat up. Yeah. I mean they are black and blue. 
It doesn't take a rocket scientist to look in the mirror and say, wait a minute, this may that not be good idea. for you. I mean, when you get the crap beat out of it and you got a big black eye, do you look in the mirror and say, hey, you know what? This is going to look really good here in a couple of days. It's really, really appealing, you know? Yeah. 